Hi everyone, and welcome again to Nettle, the go-to place to learn about business, finance, economics, and much, much more. My name is Sava, and in this short video from the Excel 101 series, we'll learn how to apply the VLOOKUP function in different circumstances, and how to flexibly tweak its input parameters. So here we have got a simple data set of nine people working for different banks, and their age, salary, and tenure for how long they have been working at their respective companies. The VLOOKUP function can be quite easily used to answer the following questions. For example, we can ask a quite reasonable question. How old is the person working for Citigroup? To do that, we can use the VLOOKUP function, which uh, takes as its argument a value. So our value would be Citigroup. We'll uh, specify the array where we need to find this particular a value, and we need to specify that the column we're looking for the value in would be the leftmost column of our selection, of our table array, as VLOOKUP calls it. So we need to make sure that the company uh, column is the leftmost column of our selection, and then we can select the whole array that we care about. Then we need to uh, input in which column uh, are we looking for the output data, and here we're looking for age, we want to see how old the employee is, so the column number is 2, and then we need to specify a true-false variable, which for true would look for approximate matches, and false would look for exact matches. In this case, we want to know uh, the Citigroup employee exactly, we do, do not want to find the age of the employee whose company name is similar to Citigroup, so we input 0 or false for exact matches. And we see that the Citigroup employee is exactly 46 years old, and the VLOOKUP function works nicely here. If we would have wanted to find their salary, we would have just changed the column number to 3, as salary is indeed the third column over here, and we would have correctly specified that their salary is 87 grand. And for tenure, we would have also just changed the column uh, number to 4, and correctly specified that they are indeed working in Citigroup for 16 years already. However, this is not the question that's asked to us. The next question is, how much does the employee who is 51 years old make? And here we can use the VLOOKUP function again, specify that we want the age to be equal to 51. Then we can specify that this is now the array we are looking for it, because age is now the value of interest, so it now becomes the leftmost column. And in terms of the salary, it's now the second column of our array. So we specify 2, and we specify 0 for an exact match. We see that the employee, who is 51 years old, working for Lloyd's, but that's not what we care about. We care about them making £109,000 a year. And finally, if we want to look for how long the tenure of the person who is earning £114,000, VLOOKUP can also serve us nicely here. We can specify that they are making 114,000. We can select those two columns now. And tenure is now the second column of our array. And as we're looking for an exact match, we put zero once again. And indeed, see that they have been working in their company for 15 years. And this function works for tables that are much larger and much bulkier than that, and can save you a lot of time when you are doing um, exercises like that for your research or professional practice. Please leave a like on this video if you found it helpful, and stay tuned for even more content from the Excel 101 series.